What is up guys? Really excited video today. We're gonna be replacing the headlights and tail lights on our Jetta back here, Euro style. Let's jump in the back and I'll show you the packages we just got today. And here we have one of the outer tail lights. Look at how shiny that is. Perfect. And here we have the inner side of it. Perfect smoke look, love it. And here we have the most exciting part. Look at those headlights, guys. Looking awesome. That Audi style is perfect. And of course, uh, new headlights mean new LED bulbs. I got this uh, from Amazon because on the auto parts store, they were way too expensive. So this is a great buy and they're super bright. And here we have most of the tools we're gonna be using, our ratchet wrench here, a couple of extensions, a plastic tool, our 10 millimeter wrench, the Torx bits, a magnetic plate so you can put your screws on, this knife, and this long Torx just in case. All right guys, let's jump straight into the vehicle. And we are going to be turning it on because we want to turn the steering wheel all the way to the right, like this. Now I shut it off and lock it into place. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and open the hood. And let's move into the front of the vehicle. The reason why we're turning the steering wheel all the way to the right, as you can see right here, is because there are a couple of screws hiding behind here we gotta take off. Let's go ahead and open the hood really quick. Okay, next step, grab your ratchet wrench. And we're gonna be taking off these four screws right here. One, two, three, and four of this front grill. We are going to be using this T25, as you can see right here. Let me focus, perfect. All right, let's jump in. Now that we have all the screws off, it's almost ready to go, but we gotta give it a little pull on it because there's a couple of clips on the bottom holding it still. We wanna be careful so we don't break those. All right. Uh, once again, we grab our wrench and this time we're gonna be using a T30. As you can see right there, perfect. And we're going to be taking out these five screws on the top right here. All right, we got one more hiding in the back right there, as you can see. And we have one more in the front right here. That's why we had to take the front grill off. All right, let's go.
guys. As you can see right here behind this bracket, there are some clips. We're gonna take our plastic tool, we're gonna pry on them and push them down like this. Perfect, now it's free. Let's put the bracket away. And uh, this is the cable that opens the hood, so uh, we can put it away as well and keep going with our job. Now that we have all the screws off, we're gonna go ahead and take our T25 and our ratchet wrench, and we're gonna move it down to the inner fender here. And we have to take four screws off. All right, so let's get to it. Yeah. Guys, we have one more screw hiding back here, one that holds the bumper to the fender, as you can see right there. It's the same thing, T25, let's go. And now that we have all the screws off, we just gotta pull on the bumper, some, and move to the front of it as well. We got a couple of clips holding it down. As you can see right here, six of them. We are gonna take our plastic pry tool and we're gonna get it in between them so we can get them free, like this. And they should come right out, perfect. Okay, now that we're up here in our headlight, we gotta go ahead and disconnect this wiring harness right here. Let me show you. Perfect. It's got a clip in the side which we're going to be pressing in really hard and we gotta shake it and pull it backwards. Perfect. assemble the new headlight we gotta use this adapter they send us in the box right here and we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this big cap back here as you can see and inside is where the new LED bulb will go it's got a uh, two metal clips right there we're gonna unclip and push back and inside it's got the connector for the bulb right there. have it plugged in um, you can see right here this notch that the new bulb has the headlight has it as well in the top right there so we're gonna go ahead and place it the same way like this nice and simple and last thing you got to do is just take the metal clips and secure it Now that we have it in place, what we want to do is move it around so we can get the best 
uh, fitting possible with the vehicle right here. All right, let's take our metal bracket and put it on top of the headlight. And we're gonna take the screws and we're gonna do them by hand so we can still have the opportunity of moving it around. Now that we finish with the screws, we're gonna take our left hand and place it under the headlight and we're gonna move it around until it's completely flush with the vehicle and we're gonna go ahead and start tightening these screws. Now that the headlight is secure, we're gonna take our bumper and clip it back together on the left side here. Perfect. And now to finish the installation on the left side, we're gonna take our T25 and we're gonna start by the first screw on the top that fixes the bumper to the fender right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the other ones. Guys, all we have left to do is just plug the adapter onto the original harness and we'll be all set with it. All right guys, now that we're finished with the left side, let's jump into the right side and we're gonna do exactly the same thing. We're gonna start by disconnecting this plug for the headlights. And next, we take out all the screws and the bracket as well. Well, you know what goes next, the bumper. Once you take off the screws from the back, you're gonna be pulling it gently like that. And now it's gonna be free to take off the headlights. And for the new headlight assembly, we just gotta plug in the LED and the adapter and we'll be all set with it.
And to finish the front of the vehicle, we're gonna be putting back its grill. Remember, it's got some clips in the bottom, which are gonna be hooking up to your front bumper right there. We're gonna be sliding it forward, just like that, there. And now we have to put the screws back on it and it's gonna be finished. All right guys, jumping into the back here, we're gonna take off this plastic covering on both sides, just like that. And we're gonna unscrew the two screws hiding back here. Now to take those two screws off, you're gonna be using a T20, your extension, and your ratchet wrench right here. guys now we just pull hard on this plastic cover so we can rip it off and we got two screws on this side and two on this other side you're gonna go ahead and take your 10 millimeter wrench right here and that's how you're gonna take it out To take them out, we gotta push them forward. So you do that, we take any tool that we have, give it a little top, take off the electric connector, and we move to the outside of it, and we start pulling the tail light. We move to the left side and do the same exact thing. Here we have the new tail light. Now we're gonna do the same steps, just backwards. Guys, be careful with this uh, installation. On the left side, there's a plastic piece that always gets stuck if you don't do it right. So start by putting the left side of the tail light first and then the right side. All right, now we take the stickers off this electrical component that the new lights bring. We're going to be sticking it to the trunk right here. Just press it hard on it and it should be all set. guys now we take these cables that come in the box these are for the brake lights we're going to be taking the smaller one and we just gotta put it together with this red cable from the right side right here just put it together just like that 
there. And now we take our stripper tool and we're gonna use the clamp side of it and seal it together. All right, now we just take the other end of the cable and start running it using the old electrical uh, wires that are in the trunk, just like this, so we can save space and have the cable secured. All right, and to finish the circuit, we're gonna take one of these two cables from the left side, we're gonna put them together and use a stripper tool to push down on it so it'll be sealed. Now we take our plastic tool and we're gonna remove these clips from this plastic covering because we want to access the cables underneath. Now we take this uh, rubber piece off that is holding the cables together because we're going to be using this hole to run our cable. Now we take the long cable and we're going to be running it through the trunk right here. And now we grab it at the bottom. We pull it through until we can connect both of these cables together. Finish that circuit, clamp it down so it's nice and secure. Just like that pull it together and now we are going to use these wires down here so we can tangle it together and have the cables nice and secure once inside the trunk we're going to be pushing our brake cable right behind the rug here just like i'm doing we want to get it all the way through and right here you can fish it out and get it all the way through right there now we're gonna take this plastic screw off that is holding the outer tail light once you take off your electrical connector it'll be free just by pushing it forward a little bit and once you come outside it's gonna be free just like that we gotta do the same thing for the next side too First, we're gonna be reattaching this rubber piece back together so we can have it secure. And we're gonna be putting the plastic covering for the trunk right there. And this big plastic cover for the bottom of the trunk, you know how it goes, just align it. Just like that give it a couple tabs so you can have all the clips back together and the next thing is going to be putting the plastic covers on the side both of them right there and now don't forget to put your screws back on and you'll be all set with that installing the outer tail light is really simple all you gotta do is start by taking this electrical component out because it's not gonna fit through the original factory hole there. Just like this. And you're gonna slide it right on. Now that we're inside here, we're going to be fishing all the cables out and we're going to do the connectors, the new connector with the original one right there. And of course, our brake light, we're going to finish this by clamping them together, just like we've done before.
Hey guys, a couple of hours later, and look at them. They look amazing. Tail lights and headlights, they both look awesome. If you like this video and it was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, so next time I make an upload, you get notifications. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.